Hi guys, Craig here. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give a quick update to the Go Kilowatt Hour Lithium Ferrophosphate Battery. So I reached out to the supplier with my concerns how this battery was getting down to 2.2 volts per cell before the BMS was tripping and um, cutting in the under voltage cell protection. So they came back to me last night really quick with an explanation. They told me that this battery contains BYD blade cells and that the working voltage of this battery is two volts through to 3.75 volts per cell. So obviously when the BMS tripped at 2.2, that's quite within the parameters. And I looked up the BMS specs and it does say a working voltage down to 8.8 .8 volts. So to me, that makes total sense. Am I really happy that this battery goes down to two volts or 2.2 volts? I'm not sure on that one. I always thought that 2.5 was a safe cutoff, but maybe there's something different or unique about the BYD blade cells that I'm unaware of. So they did send me the spec sheet also, and you can clearly see here, the working voltage or the nominal voltage is 3.75 down to two volts per cell. And it is a BYD battery pack in these. So there you go, guys, based on that, the battery performed. I gave it a couple of charge and discharge tests at around the 0.2C and at about 0.7C. Both times it achieved 100 amp hours. The battery didn't get hot. The construction is reasonable. Um, I actually like that it's removable here. So now I can keep this battery in, in working order and use it going forward. I have to really give this battery a thumbs up and a pass based on the spec sheet that Go Kilowatt Hour provided. They should know better than me. So there you go, guys. I hope you like that. There is a link to the Go Kilowatt Hour website and they do have a promotion, which I think is Craig 12 volt and you get like 60 bucks off the battery. So if you're interested, reach over to their website and have a look. Thanks guys and stay tuned.